Okay, so I'm meant to be moving in to my new flat on Saturday. Today is Wednesday, August 26, 2015. So three days, I'm sure it's three days now until I move in. And I just wanted to like, I'm so excited. I'm so unbelievably excited. I physically can't. I can't express how happy I am and I just oh I just need I just need to to say it I just need to say it I just need to say how excited I am you know it's it's not owned by my university but it's a student flat and this is a big deal for me because for the last two years of my life I have lived in an orange box like it was like the worst colour it was like this colour it was horrible absolutely horrible and the worst thing about it being orange is that like you know colours you know you have like colours that trigger different moods and different feelings the colour orange does not trigger good feelings the colour orange triggers feelings of, of anger and stress so it's about six hours after I filmed this original footage and I've realised that I have literally just rambled on for a good 10 minutes about how I hate the colour of the walls that I was living in so I'm just gonna like <laughs> I'm just gonna cut all that out I might add it to the blooper reel because I, I pull up some funny faces but I'm just gonna move straight on to how I felt in my first year at university so if it seems a bit choppy and a bit strange because this is the first time I've ever done this and I rambled on for a good 10 minutes about the colour orange and absolutely nothing else so I'm just going to cut straight to straight to me talking about my first year. Living at university was a great experience and I will never ever say that it was a terrible experience but it I didn't very I didn't have a very good start at university you know I didn't have the best start you know I in my first year I fell out with all of my roommates by Christmas because I was stupid enough to start a relationship with my, one of my flatmates and I genuinely don't recommend you do that. Moving in with somebody and then starting a relationship is a recipe for disaster because you don't know them. You know, you don't... You have no idea who they are and I, we, we started a relationship very quickly before we got to know each other and yeah caused a lot of tension in the flat because we were all living with his friends so his friends fell out with me they were all second years and they'd all asked to live together I was a first year I was just thrown in a flat so they all knew each other and I didn't so when me and him like finally broke up it caused a lot of tension because they hated me so in my first year I had heartbreak to deal with I had the whole stress of having move halls um, so I got put in, in another halls with people who quite frankly weren't very nice to me because they'd all formed a little like community and I was just like introduced like she's going to be living with you for four months. I felt very left out because they'd all, you know, you're meant to move into a flat, make friends with everyone, then you have nine months together, then you, you know, if you're if you're a good friend, you move in together next year, and you move together in third year, and, you know, you have this little tight-knit community that nobody can break, and, and they had that, and I didn't. And, you know, I just moved in like, hi, you know, I just want to be your friend, and they very much despised me, and especially one girl. There was one girl who was very very was very very um, powerful within the group she was definitely like the leader of the group um and she would like say things to me and instead of just being like right okay i would say to her no that's not right you can't say that to me and it caused a lot of tension that i was the only one that would stand up to her and i wouldn't take her shit and that caused a lot of problems so my first year at university did get off to a very good start and I was moving around all the time and I wasn't feeling very welcome in the flat that I lived in so I spent a lot of time you know, in the flat next door where I had a lot of friends. You know, Luckily the three people lived opposite me who happened to be on my course so I spent a lot of time in their flat so I didn't really have a place to call home in my first year. It was very much 
I'm sort of just here, you know, I'm just I'm just staying here temporarily. I didn't feel welcome, I didn't feel happy. And that is something you need to feel when you're at university and it's your first year, you know, it's very scary. You don't just want to feel like I'm being thrown in here and I'm just going to stay here for a couple of months and then I get to go home again. Like, you don't want to feel like that. You want to feel happy and free and exhilarated and like like this is a start of a, your life this is a new chapter in your life and I didn't feel that way I'm so really sorry about this in my second year was so much better so much better I moved in with friends in my second year and it was very weird because ev like everybody had got jobs by then and so everybody was doing their own thing there's probably only two of us in the flat at any one time you know it, so that was very strange, not having that that closeness. Even though we were all friends and we worked together and it was lovely, you know, I couldn't couldn't fault them. They were wonderful people. They still are wonderful people. You definitely didn't get that sense of community, like we're all in the kitchen together, eating dinner together and having fun and playing games together and going out drinking together. It was like everyone was out working and there was two of us at most doing the community thing and so I was I you know I second year is so much better than first year I'm not by any means it was nowhere near as bad as, as first year but I definitely felt like I'd missed the opportunity to have that community feel because you do that in your first year and then your second year your third year is when shit gets serious and people get jobs and life sort of takes over you know I just this flat will mean such a change because one it's not orange you know one it's not friggin orange and two it's just the four it's like just four of us now it was supposed to be just three of us but there were no three bedroom flats available so they, they moved us into a four bedroom so this it's me my friends laura and leo and a stranger a stranger who knows who the stranger might be oh who knows who this mysterious stranger might be um whoever it is i'm definitely not going there again with relationship wise i learned my lesson i learned it the hard way i am not doing that again but it's, it's fun, it's exciting, I'm, I'm moving in with some, I lived, I've lived with Laura for a year already, she was, she lived with me in second year and we spent a lot of time together in first year, became really good friends, we, we lived together in second year and third year we, we decided to live together again and Leo, Leo is actually like a best friend in first year, so best friends at my university are people who show you in to like move you in, I'm moving in down. and you know, he was the first one to introduce me. He was the first one I met at university and we became really good friends in first year and when I was in first year, he was in second year. And then Leo took a gap year, so he's come back to finish his third year. And me and Laura are now in third year, so now we're all living together. I'm really excited that I'm not gonna be living in an orange box. I get to be in a room that doesn't it doesn't feel like I'm being boxed in. You know, it's nice, it's really nice. And it's nice that we, we're gonna I'm finally gonna have that little community feeling that I want that I craved in first and second year that I you know ultimately never got then kind of got then kind of didn't have at the same time it was very very confusing I feel like this year is going to be different because there's only there's only four bedrooms because it's less pressure of trying to keep up with everybody and see how everyone's doing and keep tabs on where everyone is it'd be a lot more relaxed especially being with somebody that I've lived with for, for a year and a friend that I've had you know two friends that I've had since I moved in to university it'd be a lot easier because moving in with friends who I didn't really know much about you know as much as they were my friends and you know I I you know, I got on with them, they were my friends, I classed them as a friend, I wanted them in my friendship group. You don't know somebody until you live with them, so you don't know their routine, you don't know their schedules, which can be, 
can be difficult you know you, you, you don't know what that person's like until you live with them so the fact that I'm moving in with somebody that I've already lived with for a year I feel like it makes me feel a little bit better because I know what she's like already you know I know her schedules and her routine and and what she's like and you know so I know there's no pressure that if she shuts herself in her bedroom it's not because she doesn't want to speak to us it's because she wants her private time you know and that's it's easier to get to terms with and and you know I know she works weekends I know they both work weekends so when I'm on my own <laughs> when I'm on my own at the weekend it's not because I don't know where anyone is and I'm feeling really lonely because I thought somebody was going to be in the flat and nobody's there I know they're working and that doesn't bother me you know because hopefully I'll have a job of my own this year I think this year's going to be a lot easier because because I know them I know them well and to be honest with you I'm just more excited that I'm not going to be in an orange box anymore <laughs> like the worst shade of orange you could think of you look at it and you feel things and after like if you're working away on your laptop writing an essay and you've been in that room for like six hours straight writing or, or reading or doing some kind of work the orange starts closing in on you like the orange walls just get smaller and smaller and smaller until it feels like you're literally in a box this big and you can't escape the orange like the orange is everywhere and it gives you a friggin migraine after staring at orange walls for like hours and hours it gives you a migraine and i have had to deal with those friggin orange walls for two years I can't be comfy. Lick my shoulder. Lick my shoulder. I love you, Sky. I love you. I love you. Do you know why I the Sky? Because of the famous Beatles song, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. Lucy in the sky. I just need another dog called Diamonds now. <laughs> oh god, there's so much crap in this room. So much crap in this room. All this on here is just crap. So I've got some straighteners back here. I've got some uh, packing tape. A, a ventolin well then let, let's not do that don't do that let's not an aero chamber <laughs> what do people even do on these kind of videos big stretch big stretch I don't even know what you what people talk about on vlogs. I've got nothing interesting to say. 
really. Got nothing interesting to do. I've already packed everything. I don't move in till Saturday. Just really bored today because I'm home alone all day. So I've got. Well, I'm not home alone. I've got doggy. I've got Sky with me. But not really anything to do. Put the washing out. Did some ironing. Nothing good on telly. Got no Xbox because I packed my Xbox. No, no new videos in my YouTube subscription box. Sorry, am I boring you? Am I boring you? Huh? Huh? Why you just unsubscribe? I mean, you just unsubscribe? I'm boring you. But you just unsubscribe? I love you too. I love you too. I love you. Why have you got your paw on me? Hello, beautiful. Hello, beautiful. We are beautiful, big brown eyes. We are beautiful, big brown eyes. You're so beautiful. She's just looking. She's looking into my heart right now. She's looking into my soul. Don't you, Sky? I love you. Oh, I'm gonna cry. She's so beautiful. I don't want to leave her again. I don't want to leave you again. I don't ever want to leave you again. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, baby. I'm so sorry. I love you. I love you. You are the love of my life. With the apple of my eye, my one and only, my compadre. I and probably the only person in the well, person, probably the only living thing in the world that it doesn't get annoyed at me. Well, not that easily. Can we show your beautiful face to the camera? Are you going to be okay with me picking you up like that? Shall we, shall we show your beautiful face to the world? Huh? Look at you. Look how beautiful you are. Look how beautiful you are. Huh? Look at you beautiful you are. My beautiful baby girl. Oh, 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 no, that, oh, oh. Can't see it from back here. Oh, ignore that. Hi. <laughs> I said bye. Are you just going to stand there? Are you just, are you just going to stand there and stare at me? That was something. Let's um let's not put that on the internet. Although I'm sure there are probably some people out there who would enjoy a video of a dog humping a pillow. 
Anyway, yeah, I've no idea what this was. I just wanted to sit down and talk. And just talk. And talk. And talk. But, yeah, hopefully this gave you a bit of a little insight into me. The next, the next video I ever do on here, hopefully, will be my moving in vlog. Which I'm not doing for any other reason other than because I want to remember that day for the rest of my life and I want to film it and I want to put it somewhere that I know I can get access to for the rest of my life. There's no eyelash in my eyeball. There's no eyelash in my eyeball. Okay, we're all good. And the eyelash is gone. But yes, I want to film the day I move in to my whole res no, to my student flat because it's a day that I want to remember for the rest of my life and it's a massive thing for me really massive deal for me so this is the, this is the step between living in living in in halls and having a flat of my own this is the nice in between stage that I can be at because I'm 20 I'll be 21 next year and a 21 year old does not want to be living in an orange box why did I paint them orange? why not white? Why not purple, green, magnolia, grey? Anything is better than orange. Why did you paint them orange? Why orange? Why orange? I, don't, I really don't like orange. I really don't like orange. I'm going to end this video now. <laughs> I'm going to end this before it gets even longer, more rambly and weirder than it already is. So let's, let's, let's end this, let's end this now. Right, okay, my name's Lucy and thanks for watching, bye! The fuck's